Hey guys, so I'm here to speak to you about anti-mortem inspections in abattoirs. So I'm a vet student from South Africa, um, I love what I do and I'm hoping for the best one day. Anyways, so before further ado, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a like if you find it helpful and I would really appreciate the support. Anyways, let's carry on. Media inspection services, okay. This is meant to... Um, <clears throat> This discussion is going to talk to you about anti-mortem performances and primary and secondary mean inspection. So, um, these are done by a registered inspector who may be employed by an assignee and may include hygiene management and regu regulatory control. Uh, as agreed on with the provisional executive officer for each abattoir and includes reporting of non-conformances to the provincial executive officer because those are the people in charge remember that um, <clears throat> so back to our anti-mortem inspections anti-mortem meaning before they die post morning meaning mortem meaning after they die so registered inspector, inspectors Meeting examiners are specifically trained to differentiate between the normal and the abnormal carcasses to see if they are fit for human consumption. So you get a primary meat inspection and this is receiving service training to inspect meat. Uh, yeah, you get training to inspect meat pretty much. Um, they may either approve meat if it is fit for consumption or ensure approved meat is marked as prescribed. Um, they can detain abnormal meat for further inspection by a vet and must work under supervision of a veterinarian. That's what primary inspections does. Now, <clears throat> when you look at meat inspectors regarding antimonium inspections, now the primary meat inspection, they have all the functions, like they inspect animals before slaughter, and conduct routine inspections as described in the terms of sections in the Act in your country of what happens in abattoirs. And they write, in, write a instructions, um, leave it for whoever is the person in charge of the abattoir and how they should operate it. Now, a veterinarian is also seen as a meat inspector. Obviously, it's their job. That is what they are trained for. They also do anti-mortem inspections, but they are considered a secondary meat inspector. Uh, they have all the same functions as the primary meat inspector, except they have more. They can amend or set aside or replace any decision made by the primary meat inspection of the meat. If they say it's good, the vet says it's bad, it's bad. Um, they condemn meat as unfit for human or animal consumption. So if they say, you can't eat that, sorry, you can't eat that. And yeah, <clears throat> so the people who may perform anti-mortem inspections, it may be done by a meat examiner in a rural abattoir, fair enough, must at, le must at least be a meat inspector in a low or high throughput abattoir. Note, probably not done in high throughput abattoirs if the only, only employs one meat inspector and no veterinarian. So declaration of health and time of inspection. A declaration of health and origin must be provided for all animals by the owner of the slaughter stock and recorded by the abattoir owner. Um, stock theft and residues of veterinary drug is a real thing. That's why records are very important. You need to know where everything goes. Um, animals must be inspected on the day of the, that they arrive at the abattoir. Um, the inspection must be repeated on the day of slaughter if the slaughter is not done within 24 hours of arrival. Um, you have to mark specific animals for the attention of the registered inspector. You can mark them, for example, pigs are marked on the ear. It's easy to see and it doesn't interfere with the meat. There must be a standard procedure at an abattoir to convey the information acquired in the larges to the registered inspectors in the meat inspection area. Um, <clears throat> so that basically concludes um, our discussion of basic anti-mortem principles. Um, so if, if there's anything else you would like to know, um, if there's anything else you would like to see in a video, please let me know and have a good day and yeah, enjoy the abattoir.